The Liberals, Your Money and Their Entitlements. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. The woman in charge of making sure that government purchases follow a proper procedure, that public procurement is done properly, and that public spending is under control on such purchases, well, she and her staff threw all the rules out the window as she was renovating her office after the Liberals took power. Public Works Minister Judy Foote and her staff have given verbal approvals for purchases. They made last-minute requests and changes that drove up costs. Then they spent a small fortune in cash, in time, staff time that requires paychecks paid for by all of us to find a solution to a heating problem in the minister's office. What was the heating problem? Well, as I'll show you, her office was never below 22 degrees Celsius, also known as above room temperature, and she wanted it higher, like a balmy 24. Of all the renovation costs and documents I've reviewed from various departments, this is the most ridiculous, the most outrageous, and the one that seems to follow the rules the least. And this is the minister and department in charge of purchasing rules for the entire, entire government of Canada. Don't you feel good about how your money will be spent under Judy Foote? It starts days after Foote is sworn in with an email saying that the minister's chief of staff had given a verbal approval for some purchases. Sure, maybe it's just a tablecloth, but that's not normal government procedure, especially not at the department that makes every other department and every other contractor and supplier in the government jump through hoops in triplicate. Then there's her office asking about strange noises, a noise they thought might have been bats in the, in the ceiling. Heads up, our minnow noticed noises from the ceiling, suspected bats or animals. BGIS Tech investigated and assessed it was air. We'll resolve by purging the system. No further action tonight. That was a nighttime email, by the way. Let me translate that for you. Minnow is the minister's office and BGIS Tech, that's the maintenance department for the building manager, Brookfield Properties. This was a late request. It was an after hours request, not part of standard maintenance, that meant the request cost overtime, a problem raised by the same official, someone named Sonia Powell, a senior director at Public Works, in another email. Kevin Andy, just a heads up, FYI, I've received feedback from the team that last minute requests, such as the one from last night, are causing problems within the existing approvals oversight framework for the BGIS contract. The solution? They wanted to give a blanket approval for $25,000 slush fund in case anyone else heard spooky noises or had a last minute request that required overtime. The minister's department, her public works department, is recommending going around the rules rather than following the rules that are there to restrain costs. There's other problems in this access to information release as well, including the minister's office and senior public works staff spending days and days, who knows how much time, in total, trying to come up with a solution to the minister's office being too cold for her. Except it wasn't. Not according to the building manager and the thermostat. BGIS Tech has initiated a temperature trend monitoring in the minister's office in order to better evaluate the fluctuation of temperature in this area. As you will observe in the attached document, the temperature did not go below 22 degrees Celsius at any time from Friday, November 20th at 8 a.m. to November 23rd at 8 a.m. This from a report by Mark Tardiff, a building manager for the Public Works Department. That didn't stop Foote and her office from buying portable heaters, discussing skirting purchasing rules that they're supposed to enforce, and spending thousands on a problem that didn't actually exist. I mean, the temperature did not go below 21 degrees. It did not go below room temperature. And isn't it the Trudeau government always telling the rest of us to take global warming seriously? Wasn't Foote, along with every other minister, told to tackle climate change? If she took that seriously, and her job as a guardian of the public purse seriously, she would have just put on a sweater, but she didn't. Instead, people were actually sent out to Canadian Tire to buy a space heater, seriously. Now I've bought them, they can work, they can be very effective, very safe, and what, they cost between 60 and maybe $200 to, depending on the model, at least the last time I looked. But there's another problem, as Tardif informed Sonia Powell, space heaters are not allowed in federal offices. The portable space heaters are prohibited. There is a written directive by PWGSC, that's Public Works, because of fire risk. So now they're breaking the rules on heating and breaking the rules on how to spend your money. But wait, there's more. Still not happy to just put on a sweater and deal with 22 degrees in November, Foote and her staff decide to spend a lot of your money. 
Initial estimates that were a permanent heating system solution for the non-existent problem would be a little over $1,000, but it went up according to a memo on November 25th, which said, cost $4,074.51 includes additional cost for after-hour labor and commissionaires. Notice it said after-hour labors? See, rather than move the minister and her gear for a day, they planned on doing the work after hours, meaning a higher cost for you. Again, making sure your money is well spent. At one point, officials, well, they worry that Foot's private climate change ignoring heating system could actually cost between five and $10,000. I don't have the final price tag, a lot of estimates, but from what I can tell, they did get her down to the $4,000 figure. But how much staff time was spent from running to Canadian Tire to sending hundreds of pages of emails to holding meetings to calling the building maintenance guys to consult again and again? All for what? So Judy Foote could feel warm. Her office never went below 22 degrees Celsius, even in the overnight. So there was no need for her and her staff to waste time, money, never mind skirting federal rules with this. But you know what they say about liberals, don't you? They are entitled to their entitlements.